Good morning, Europe. We start this morning on our favorite little S&P chart. Almost had a good one yesterday, in a sense, a setup. We made our new high, but we didn't quite engulf on the low. So we're still just waiting on the S&P for a sell signal. Definitely not a sell signal yesterday. Closed near the all-time highs, so we're just going to be patient. Today we'll go over, I think, instead of all the charts, we'll just go over the five that I think that are going to be in play uh, at the European Open. Looks like Europe's going to buy, uh, buy euros uh, after that idiotic Spanish wolf-crying <coughs> waste of time. Um, Catalonian speech that was also one hour and 27 minutes delayed. Man, pissed me off. Anyway, um, we're, I think the specs are caught a little bit short euro now. Um, so if you look here, we have this sort of 118.33 area. This is where we had the gap down two Mondays ago, two weeks ago Monday, when the Catalonian uh, vote happened. So there should be some forced buying up through this level. So we like buying up through 29, maybe 33, somewhere around there, um, just for a move to sort of say 50 or 60, nothing crazy. Um, but uh, this looks like it's in play. So if you want to draw a horizontal, you could. Um, you know, sort of here. And so below that is still bearish, but looks like vulnerable. Above that is going to be forced buying. And that's 118.31. Uh, on the same note, you have Euro Yen, same type of situation. We've been sideways now, as we said yesterday, for many, many days. This is going to get resolved today, and it looks like it's going to get resolved for the top side. We have loads of highs up here, 118.90, uh, and then we have the 132.90, sorry, and then we have the uh, 133.11s. Again, I'm not looking for anything crazy here. Just to move back up to say 20, 30, 40 maybe. Uh, and then sideways. So, we'll see. Uh, at the open, this looks like this is going to get resolved. Cable, uh, don't know why it's bid. Don't understand the politics there. Don't think Carney's going to raise more than once, or he he just won't be able to uh, with the mess that's over there. But that said, market is short. Same type of situation. This was the breakdown here. If I can just hmm. one thirty-two twenty-nine area. Uh, yesterday we printed the highs of twenty-two, so. There's going to be some risk above the highs here. Uh, we'll probably get cleared out now that this Catalonian situation is over. As you would expect, gold has come off a little bit, but not a ton. Um, nothing really much to do there. Dollar yen, nothing to do. Mid range, just kind of lost. Bonds are lower today, so, but it's still 125.03. Not really anything to do. Sterling crosses look terrible, as in terribly boring. Aussie yen, boring. Cad yen's interesting here. If we do get risk off, and there are some headlines this morning about the U.S. sending bombers over to Korea. Um, that's... God knows what that means. Um, 
But if we do get risk off, this is an interesting character here, 8960. You should keep it in mind, put it in the book, uh, and be alert. So risk on is Euro Yen topside. Risk off might be Euro uh, CAD Yen downside. Have a look at that. What else is there? Aussie, nothing. Kiwi does not look bid. We talked about this yesterday. Uh, <coughs> selling through the lows, 57, 56, 55. Maybe one of those kind of surprising payoff trades. You can see it's a pivot from way back in May on the on the big move up. Um, I kind of like that one as a sneaky one, underreported. Sterling yen probably goes up a little bit at the open, but I'm not chasing that. It's quite hard to trade. Sterling Aussie. Who cares? Euro Aussie. Eh, getting towards these interesting highs, but definitely not in play. So, Euro CAD. These are interesting levels on 4808. I don't know what the story is going to be there, and I don't know what the driver is going to be unless the Euro has more juice than I thought. Um, dollars are nothing. Euro Norway. Hmm. Cares. Dollar Max has been on a bit of a tear. I kind of totally missed this. Uh, but one thing to note the Dollar Max is right on the 200 day moving average. Um, so, mathematical systems amongst us. Some will be selling in front, some will be buying through it. My preference, just by the looks of this, is just to stay long. But I missed it. I'm not going to chase it. Just leave it. Dollar Turkey, monkey currency. Uh, Euro Swiss, holding up, holding up nicely. God bless the SNB. CAD Swiss, nothing. Aussie Kiwi, mid-range. Swiss Yen, downside looks interesting, just technically. 114.90. But boy, Swiss Yen, boring. Uh, and then Kiwi Yen, who cares? Uh, let's have a look at the boons. Not doing too much, sort of bouncing around at the lows. You saw the tens here. We almost had like a very interesting day yesterday with that move. You know, had the long tail through the lows. Looked like it was going to turn. Now we have a long tail from the highs, and it's kind of, if you want to look at it, it's sort of like a three-day doji. It's just opening and closing right here, 125.03. You know, pissing people off. Um, VXX is at 37. Almost had a shot yesterday. This is a break trade, VXX. 38.10. Um, totally over owned. Hard to be long because of Contango, but. This is a break trade. Put it in the book. 3810, 3820. Um, that's a break trade. All right. I'm babbling a bit now. I'll let you guys get your day started. Euro yen topside, euro dollar topside. Looks like what we're going to do at the open. Good luck.